What's up, my beloved Tabernacle Baptist Church? It's your pastor. And once again, I'm coming to you for our weekly update. Once again, let me just say thank you so much for the love and support that many of you share with me for my 13th anniversary. Man, it has been an incredible journey to share with you the wonderful people of Tabernacle Baptist Church, our friends and our partners in the community and beyond. Thank you so much for how you support our ministry. And it was literally a weekend to remember. I'm also grateful for so many of you who were part of our initiative of PG-13 Give Back. You allowed us to be a blessing to our community. I am so grateful because every seed that you saw into the ministry of 13 years, we were able to sow back into our community. How do we sow back into our community? I'm glad you asked. Our Hope Seed Fund is growing and I'm so grateful for it. All the month of April since Resurrection Sunday, we've been doing it. It has been something we've been doing at our church uh, that we give uh, annually to institutions and organizations within our community. This year, based upon the global pandemic, all that we raise in our Hope Seed offering is going towards small businesses. So this is what we're doing. We're still collecting for our Hope Seed offering. And throughout the duration of May, we're going to go ahead and select and solicit those who will be receiving these funds. I'm so grateful for so many of you who are trusting us to continually do great work for the kingdom of God. And so each gift will go and help us be a blessing to others. That's something we really believe in here at our church. Well, we're still going week to week. Uh, we're still following the mandates of strictly being online tab global. But I'm also grateful that many of you continue to do the things that we think is significant, which is also being part of fellowship, our circles of growth virtually. We even have some of you through our congregation care groups. We are just really showing how we can be innovative and creative even during this time. So grateful even for our young people who are part of their own circles of growth and fellowship. Remember, you can go to our website, tbcaugusta.org, and you can sign up for Circles of Growth. It is important that we stay connected during this time. Listen, we know that May is also time typically uh, for graduation. So listen, we know that schools have canceled this is what we're trying to do, and I need your help. We need all those who are seniors, whether in high school or college, if this was a year for you to graduate, we want to do something special for you. So please reach out to us. Reach out to Reverend Zebra Jefferson at zjefferson at tbcaugusta.org. Uh, we want you to send in your pictures, collage. We want to do something special to honor you. We know that this time has been hard. Many people are having to come to this point of not having a graduation or commemorate their long, hard journey in school. So we want to do something special. So please uh, send that to zjefferson at tbcaugusta.org, all of our seniors, whether you're in high school, whether you're in college, so that you can help us uh, do something uh, significant to be a blessing uh, during this time and just highlight and showcase you and let you know that we have not forgot about you. Once again, we're coming up on the first Sunday of May. And once again, we're going to do Lord's Supper virtually. So just like we did last month, make sure that you get your own sacraments for your family, whether it's bread or crackers or juice or water. We're going to do it at the conclusion of each of our worship services this upcoming week, 9, 11, and 5 o'clock. We want you to be a part of that. I think it's going to be great for us to still do it virtually. I know that it's not done it in person, but I'm grateful that wherever we are, we're two or three gathered, God is there as well. Well, listen, I love you guys. I'm grateful for so many of you who continue to stay connected, being safe. That's our real aim for you. And if you're making those decisions to venture out, be cautious. And my prayer is that each of you will once again be covered. We're praying for our healthcare workers, our frontline emergency technicians, everybody who's sacrificing so that we can get through this global pandemic. And know this, I'm praying for you and I love you. Take care.